Hey guys, um, this is not how I want you to see me right now, but I just want to say, now that everyone knows about the breakup, um, I'm extremely grateful for all the support, all the tweets, all the snapchats, and just all the love, and everyone saying they totally know how I feel, and they know what I'm going through, and I just appreciate just all the support more than anything in the world, because... Lately, I have been feeling alone. Um, I mean, that comes with a breakup, don't it? <laughs> Jax? Yeah? And Rarity Gray? What are you guys doing, snuggling? Brother and sister who love each other? Yes, we literally have four blankets on the bed. One, two, three, that blue one. Four, that's pretty funny. Okay, I'll let you guys cuddle and sleep. So I just got back from the store. These boxes are already open because I put them in my like my snack area. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you, like you guys know how I'm trying to lose weight or whatever. But sometimes I do have a chocolate craving and I'm trying really hard not to deprive myself. Because I feel like I'll binge if I <laughs> deprive and I sit there and crave and crave and crave. But um, these are some of the things that I like to eat when I have that chocolate craving. They are both in the brand Skinny Cow. This is the Dreamy Cluster Milk Chocolate. It's crunchy crisps and creamy caramel drenched in milk chocolate. Just comes in this really small bag. It's 120 calories, 3.5 sat fat, 100 sodium, 9 sugar. And this one is the Heavenly Crisp Candy Bar. Um, this one is definitely my favorite. I love both though, but I like this one better. It is delicate wafers layered with delicious chocolate cream, 110 calories, four sat fat, only 30 sodium in this one, and nine sugars. Wasabi, Rarity Gray, and Jax. I love this little camera so you can just take pictures and they're just right there as soon as you take them. It's this thing, it's the Insta Mini eight in stacks mini eight yeah oh my god this thing is so awesome <laughs> i'm like obsessed with it um it is kind of pricey like when you buy the actual film and stuff it's like a dollar per picture and i'm just like what but yeah i love this okay so you guys get to be proud of me please just be proud of me i'm wearing eyeshadow did i do okay like i don't even know like you guys know i do not wear eyeshadow like i used to a lot and then I stopped, but it's just the e.l.f. eyeshadow, like, I don't know. I got it uh, from my friend for my birthday, and I'm, I used it, and I'm finally, like, using it, and I'm excited for it. <laughs> so, this is how it looks on the inside. The two that I'm using currently, this is on my inner lid, the second one, and I'm also using this dark one for my outer lid. I wish I knew what these were called, because... Hey, because <laughs> you guys know that like every eyeshadow has a name, but for some reason this did not come with a name and I find that to be really strange, but I like it a lot. It also did not come with an eyeshadow um, brush, which I also find really weird because I thought normally stuff like this does come with one, but Thumbs up for this angle though. Okay, so last night um, I hung out with Sharla and her cousin and I had, okay, hair. <laughs> I had such an amazing time. Like, Sharla, if you're watching this, which I like 100% know that you are, just thank you for being such an awesome friend and for being there for me. Um, me and Destiny are about to go hang out. I know a lot of people are very confused about the dynamic that me and Destiny have. Like, I get it. This angle this lighting makes my face look so dark it's kind of creeping me out hold on okay this is a little bit better this lighting here um i know a lot of people are confused with the dynamic that me and destiny have which i totally understand like i get it but destiny and i mean a lot to each other just because we aren't girlfriends anymore doesn't mean you know just i guess the connection and like the friendship or whatever just kind of shuts off like that's just not how it works i don't know 
but I know it's weird for you guys. It's weird for me. Um, I'm trying to get the hang of, you know, being around her, but knowing, you know, I can't kiss her or whatever, but I don't really want to talk about the breakup right now. My initial reason for filming right now, vlogging, whatever, get out of my way. I wanted to show you guys these two books I got. So this one is called 642 Things to Write About. I have had this book before, but I lost it. Like, how do you lose a book this big? I don't even know. <laughs> But I actually got this book last weekend, and it's so awesome. It really is. Um, there's so many different prompts. Write about how to get rich quick. You are 21-year-old. Write a love letter to your girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> uh, rewrite the description from above in the passive voice whereby no one does anything. Um, I don't know. It's just random stuff. That person your mother always warned you about. Um list five cultural events that impacted you greatly I just love stuff like this because I love to write and sometimes I have writer's block interview a person you think you know well ask questions you never before asked I don't know I just love this and the other one I got the only reason why I got this one is because I saw pink sparkles talk about it and I was like, what? How did I not know about this book? If you guys don't know who Pink Sparkles is, she is a YouTuber. I'm sure all of you know who she is. Come on now. But um, yeah, I saw this and I was like, girl, yes. So I looked it up on Amazon and bam, it was right there. It's 400 exercises to liberate your writing. Um, these are more colorful pages and so much craziness. I have not yet written in this one. I have written in this one. I've only done the first page of that one. But just look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I can't even. <laughs> like I literally can't even. Oh my gosh. I love writing so much. It really just, just, just helps me a lot. You know, it's very therapeutic and stuff. Um, so here's, I'm just going to flip to a random one. This one says take a seat. Um, take the next step. When you sit up in your chair, use good posture. Hold your pen properly and originate slow breaths from your diaphragm, which is below your rib cage. obviously. You're able to think and write more clearly and evenly. To fill the difference, copy a sentence or two from this page while employing good posture. Do so lends itself to optimal writing. Um, oh, this one's funny. <laughs> Best seat in the house. Use the image as you like. Start with leaving the seat up. Take the next step. Get a big bowl, fill it with water, and soak your feet while writing. Start with I am floating. So it just gives you little prompts, obviously. Like in this one, you're going to start your writing with leave the seat up and then continue it. And then here, I am floating and then continue it. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for this. Now that I am done rambling about those books, um, we're going to go get something to eat. I have been craving Mexican food for a while now, so I'm going to uh, do that. If you guys are wondering where I got this scarf from, I am obsessed with this scarf. It's so cute. It has a little fringe at the bottom. Um, I actually got this for Christmas from a family friend, and I am obsessed with it. It's so cute. I'm not sure where she got it, but I know the brand is Candies. Sorry, I was like filming like this. Like, I know the brand is Candies, though, because I saw a little tag on it. I just don't know where she got it. Look at that mess, though. Like, so the perfume I'm going to use today is by Ariana Grande and her bottle slays my life. Yes. Uh, ah, smells so good. Like, ah, I, can't, I can't get enough. I literally can't. I love perfume too much. Okay, you guys. So I am on you now right now and I am talking to tons of people. So if you guys want to say hi, like I said, you can say hi. Um, see if you can see your name. I love how people call me Big L. Like, what? That is not cute. But okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. If you guys didn't know, I come on you now. I try to come on as often as possible. Um, I wanted to make it a goal to come on, like, Monday through Friday for an hour. And I want to try that again. I know today is Saturday, but who cares? Like, hi. <laughs> okay, you guys. Hey, I'm going to be completely honest. My vlogging game is completely just off balance. Um, 
I've been trying to get out of the house and hang out with friends and just get my mind off of things. And every time I leave the house, I don't vlog any of it, <laughs> which I don't really know what it is. I think it's because I have so much on my mind and I feel like every day, some days I feel like every day my broken heart just is not getting better. It's, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna feel this way forever. And it's one of the worst feelings in the world. And I'm just tired of, you know, feeling like I'm alone and I don't want to start talking about all this. Ugh. Okay, I realized I wasn't wearing my necklace so I had to put it on. But anyways, I'm about to go out. I'm going to try to vlog for you guys. Um, yesterday, I was going to go to Mexican food and I ended up not doing that. We went to a Chinese place because as you guys know, I am trying to still be healthier. And when I go to a Mexican place, I get like cheese galore and like tons of just not good foods. Um, I wish I would have vlogged for you guys yesterday, but when I go to a, a Chinese restaurant and I'm trying to lose weight, I will get a little bit of rice, um, boiled, whatever, like shrimp, and I will get green beans. I love their green beans. I'm sure the reason why I love them so much is because there's probably some type of sauce on them, obviously, but yeah. Um, again, I will have another weigh-in for you guys soon. I'm super excited about that. I was thinking about weighing in today. But it's like, I have all my clothes on, jewelry, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to go see A Dog's Purpose and get something to eat and hopefully just enjoy the day. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to snow. Definitely not wearing the right clothing for that. But you guys know me. I dress the same all year round. It's snowing. It just started, so... They have a lot of uh, uh, salt and stuff on the ground. It's so pretty. I wish you guys could see it. Wait, there we go. Look. Oh my god, it's starting to come down, isn't it? Yeah, it is coming down. It's starting to kind of stick. We're too. not really, we're not really like the type of people who are like used to snow per se. So it's kind of cool to us. We're supposed to get three inches. Did you know that? Three inches? That's two more than we got last time. Damn. So I am in the makeup aisle, obviously. I really want to like experiment with makeup and I was looking at these and I just think they're so cute. Like they got me with the packaging and the colors are really pretty. Oh crap. Hold on. Okay. So um, yeah, I saw this color. It's in matte and it's like a red, obviously, and it's actually called Romance. I really want to try it but it's like I'm so nervous to try new things but if any of you have tried this before let me know how it is and if it's a good product okay we're in the store for like an hour and we come out and this has occurred oh my god I love how it feels I'm so annoying but like I really love the snow Can do this? wait do you want to do it <laughs> Yeah. yeah, show them. And then if it's ice, look, there's this little pick part. I mean, that helps. Better. Yeah, I hope you guys can see because it is dark out here. So I wanted to show you guys just a couple of the things I got today there. I did go grocery shopping. I would do a grocery haul, but I'm just like not in the mood. I already put everything away. But I just wanted to show you just some few things I got. I got some more bobby pins because I freaking needed them. I used to have so many and they kind of just like walk away. <laughs> I got some black nail polish because that is my favorite and I really want to paint my nails. Just a comb for my hair and these really gorgeous necklaces i am beyond obsessed with these i think they are very very pretty so i am super excited to wear these and i got two earrings a dangly hair and this one has like that little hook part so i'm super excited to wear these i've never worn anything like this so i'm pretty excited bad angle but who cares so yeah i just got home and stuff 
it is snowing really bad now. Obviously, I did not film that. Um, Destiny keeps this, like, salt stuff in her car. Um, on top of the snow, it was super, like, icy and... Yeah, I wore the wrong shoes. Like, I'm not used to this whole snow bit, so I wore flats, and, like, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, as you guys can see, but that's just, like, how I am. I mean, that's all me. That Like, if I get sick, that's my fault, whatever. But, um, when I was trying to walk, like, it's so slippery, I was, like, gonna fall. So, like, she had to make this whole trail into, like, we had to go through our parking lot, and she had to do a whole trail with the salt, which works completely, but... That was actually really funny, and I wish, like, I could have vlogged that because I was, like, tiptoeing. I was so scared I was going to fall. Um, even someone with really good grip shoes could have slipped, so. But, yeah, um, the movie, Dog's Purpose. I cried at least four times. It was such a good movie. The dog died far too many times, but came back alive as another dog. So, that was super cute. All the dogs in the movie were so adorable. Um, all the stories behind the dog and, like, the owners was so cute, so well thought out. Um, very, there were a lot of sad moments, there were a lot of cute moments, and just, if you're a dog person, watch that movie. It was so good, I loved it so much. Um, yeah, I, I had a pretty good day today. Um, my day was kind of rough at the beginning because just, yeah, no issues um, I don't really want to keep talking about it whatever but it got better throughout the day I really do even though me and Destiny aren't together anymore I really do like enjoy hanging out with her still and it would just suck to lose her like completely like neither of us want that and yeah so I know a lot of people don't understand like why we would still be together like not still be together but still live together while we're not together do you get what I'm saying a lot of people don't understand that. I guess you really just don't have to. This is kind of like our life and what we want to do with it. Um, but it doesn't make the breakup any easier. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but I wanted to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so yeah. When I end this vlog, that means I will start another one. So don't worry. Some of you were like, Amberlynn, are you like not vlogging anymore? I am still going to be vlogging. I'm just not vlogging like religiously like every single day every single moment of my life because that's just like so boring and ever since like destiny broke up with me I've been very like to myself I feel like um I'm still trying to put out content for you guys but yeah so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you're a dog person go see that movie because it's a wonderful movie love you guys I'll see you in the next video Mwah.